As the state of Florida records more new cases of COVID-19 than it has in weeks, health officials are hoping to see vaccinations prevent another surge of the virus. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean is live at Agape Community Health Center on Jacksonville's south side. And Joe, some clinics are reporting a slowdown in COVID-19 testing. Yeah, I can hear it. Agape Health, they tell me that after the vaccinations, uh, since the vaccinations were launched, uh, they've seen a 90 to 95 percent drop off in the number of people coming in to get tested for COVID-19. Naturally, uh, health officials say it's likely because the focus is now more on vaccination than it is on actually tracking COVID-19. The latest report from the state of Florida shows 9,068 new cases of COVID-19. That's the biggest one-day jump since February 5th. As for the rate of people testing positive for the first time, it was just over 8% yesterday. Again, we haven't seen a rate that high since early February. Mia Jones is the CEO of Agape Community Health Center and says the overall number of tests being administered in their clinics has taken a big dive. Since the vaccines have come out, we are probably looking at about a 90 to 95 percent reduction in testing. Is that concerning for uh, surveillance of the, the virus? When you take away testing and then you add on to that a large number of people not taking advantage of getting the vaccine, it makes it a, a real concern for us as a community and one that we need to look at. Looking at the median age of people with the newest COVID-19 cases, in Florida, it's 35 years old. In Duval County, it's 33. In Clay County, 39. In St. John's, 35. And in Nassau County, the median age is 43. Epidemiologist Dr. Jonathan Cantor says it's more important to focus on longer term trends than just a single day's COVID-19 data. The key thing is to look at that overall situation, look at those overall numbers and try to make sure that everything continues to trend in the right direction. And new research just uh, released yesterday shows that uh, this new variant, the UK variant, which is now the most common one in the United States, it doesn't, uh, it's not as severe or it's uh, the same level of severity as the original, but the research shows that it spreads much more effectively, meaning testing and tracking is that much more important. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.